Play it early and look at the back. Welcome back to my channel guys as you can see we're doing a little car vlog situation essentially I'm graduating college who knew right pretty crazy which means that I'm going to be having a graduation ceremony I'm very lucky I get to have an in-person graduation this year and yeah, so, you know, cap and gown, all that stuff, which means I need a dress. I need a graduation dress. And you might be thinking, Megan, you don't graduate until June. Why do you need the dress right now? Well, my friend Cheyenne, who has been on this channel many times, is going to be taking my graduation photos this next week. And yeah, so I need a graduation dress for said photos. The only issue is I've been out shopping for a graduation dress countless times now and for some reason I can't find one and it's like I'm not being picky or anything I'm literally just looking for like a simple spring summer dress little sundress situation preferably like lighter colors like white blue pastel -y colors but for some reason there's nothing so <laughs> I thought I'd bring you guys along with me today, see if we could be successful. Yeah, I went to Target yesterday to look, so I'm not gonna go there today. I ended up getting this jumpsuit thing that I'm wearing right now. And then I also got just the most beautiful dress. Unfortunately, not graduation material because it's long and I don't wanna wear a long dress with like my graduation gown and stuff, but it's literally gorgeous. I'll film myself wearing it later. I'm thinking I'm going to use this dress as a backup for the pictures. If I can't find a dress in time for the pictures, I'll just wear this dress for the pictures and then just wear a different dress for the day of graduation. But yeah, so that's the plan. I'm thinking I'm gonna hit up TJ Maxx first cause I haven't checked there yet. So we'll see. I forgot there was even one in town and if not, I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, let's go. We're on the road, gonna go look for a dress. Uh, yeah. I've never been to a college graduation, so like I don't have a lot to go off of, but I figure it's a, along the same lines as high school graduation in terms of attire. I have a couple shoe options that I'm thinking about wearing already that I already have, so that's good. But yeah, I'm not looking for anything too fancy or expensive or anything. Like I literally went to a thrift store the other day to look for a dress. I'm just looking for a dress. <laughs> I don't understand why it's so hard. I mean, am I a little bit more limited than some other girls in terms of sizing? Yes. And you know, I think that is maybe playing a part in these roadblocks that we're hitting but I really still don't think it should be this hard because it's that time of year where I feel like like uh, sundresses are everywhere, or they should be. <laughs> so I'm a little bit confused. I, I don't know if anybody's been to Target recently, but aside from the absolutely gorgeous, oh, you fell, hold on. But aside from the absolutely gorgeous dress that I found there yesterday that doesn't work for my graduation, it's all pretty much like Amish chic for some reason. I, I don't know why that style is in style at Target right now. Yeah, it's either Amish chic or like intense 80s, 90s neon for some reason. I, I don't know why. So we're gonna try our luck at TJ Maxx, see what's going on there. I've also been to, uh, I've also been to Forever 21 and H&M like a thousand times I feel like looking for a dress and nothing I found nothing okay never mind I changed my mind just based on the route it made sense to come here first Marshalls so I have checked Marshalls once before the Marshalls in my town is not very good compared to other Marshalls that I've been to but I figure we should maybe give it a one more chance, see if we can find anything. My plan is to hopefully take you guys into the dressing room with me if I find anything to try on. And also, randomly next door to the to the Marshalls is Ross. And I've never really gotten anything from Ross before, but we're getting desperate, y'all. Like, it's crunch time, so I might check out Ross, too. Why not?
just went to Marshall's and Ross and it was a semi success, I guess. So Marshall's, there were more options than the last time I was there, which was good. Still struggling to find like good size options, but I found two dresses. One of the first one I tried on, it actually fit me and it was really soft and it was from Hollister randomly, which I didn't notice at first. And it was only like 12 bucks. I didn't love the fit of it necessarily. It kind I feel like it kind of like doesn't hit my waist right. It's kind of like square looking and I don't know, I feel like the those cuts of dresses don't really fit my UBs correctly. Like my UBs just kind of be uh filling out more than it allows for. But I don't know. I still think it was a cute dress and the, it was like the color scheme that I'm looking for, kind of neutral, white based sort of situation. And it was literally only 12 bucks. So I decided to get it as like a backup just in case because yeah. And also like, I'm obviously not wearing the correct bra and stuff. You're stuffed in little dressing room. So I thought maybe if I bring it home and try it on with like shoes and a different bra and stuff, maybe I'll like it more. I don't know. I thought just, it was so cheap. Why not just get it just in case? And I can always return it if not. Plus I used to work at Home Goods, So I have a TGX discount card. It was kind of like, I had no choice. Um, and then the second dress I tried on was like this super pretty blue that I, I think would be good. Cause I don't think I mentioned this, but my school, my robe is going to be black, but my school colors are blue, like dark blue or like navy blue light blue and white uh, a lot of the you know accessories and things will be blue so I think if the dress had blue in it it would complement well blah 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 so yeah this blue dress it's like the type of cut that I usually like I like like the puffed sleeves or, or any kind of sleeve really I think just flatters me more and is easier to work with the ubies um but this dress was too small and the fabric was kind of like frumpy and yeah just kind of hit me weird and like the sleeves kept falling off and it was also like a lot more expensive than the other dress I tried on I, mean, I also had like a weird tie situation that wasn't really working correctly I don't know it just wasn't for me so we left her goodbye so yeah so I got the backup dress from Marshall's then I scurried my way over to Ross and Ross had way more like options than I thought they would have I'm talking, it was kind of like thrifting. You kind of had to sift through like a lot of stuff. And yeah, so they had a lot of cute stuff actually. I tried on three dresses, none of which worked, but I think partially it is sizing. I think if you were, especially like a smaller chested gal, I think you'd have a lot of success in Ross, especially for the prices. But yeah, the first dress I tried on, horrible, ugly, see-through, was not good. Way longer length than I thought it was like on the hook and yeah it just wasn't good and also like none of these dresses from ross were the color scheme i was really looking for second one i think would be really really cute on somebody that isn't me but i am me and it it was not great um and was also too small I forgot to mention that this one had weird like basically it, it made it look like nipples but those aren't my nipples like it's just some weird creasing in the dress so i'm not really sure what that's about but yeah they're like fully on display and the third one just wouldn't even fit but i thought it was really cute on the hanger <laughs> i think a theme with this video will be that this just stuff doesn't fit but i guess you know that's life this i mean this video might end in failure to be completely honest but we had to know that going in i'm also like getting hungry and tired so I don't know if I can do much more after TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx was a major bust. There wasn't even anything like good enough to try on. So that was unfortunate. But to be honest, like I'm kind of all shopped out. Shopping's hard, but I'm gonna go on, go home, try on the dresses that I have and I'll show you guys what I've got. But first, your girl gotta get some food in her. So that's priority number one. What can I get for you? Um, can I just get a bowl of fried rice and orange chicken, please? 
it's just been a bad luck sort of day, which I guess makes sense. The day I'm filming this is Friday the 13th, which I thought was gonna be a good day because I thought, <laughs> I thought that Taylor Swift was gonna surprise drop or announce 1989 or Speak Now, Taylor's version, or both. There was a theory that there would be both, but no new album. And that hurt me, that hurt my soul, I'm not gonna lie. But I guess I'll just keep listening to this love, Taylor's version on repeat until the album drops. Cause what else am I supposed to do? So this is the dress on at home. Please ignore my extremely dirty room. Yeah, it's still, it's really soft. I definitely do like it better, like, in the shoes and in the correct brassiere. But it's still, like, I feel like it just fits me strange. Like, it's kind of, like, square right there. I don't know. And, like, this part. Okay, this is the dress from Target. And tell me, it is not the most beautiful. Oh, I wish I had somebody here to help me film this because this dress is simply... The prettiest thing I've ever put on my body. Like, look at her. Oh my god. Do you see this? Like, look at the back. Literally, look at the back. Is that not just the most stunning work of art you've ever seen? Anyway, so yeah, thanks for coming along dress shopping with me. I hope you had fun. I know it wasn't extremely successful, but so is my life, you know, to be expected. I guess um, keep a lookout on my Instagram for the pictures and you'll see what dress I end up wearing. Like I said, Cheyenne is coming up this next week, so we will probably film like a fun vlog or something while she's here. So look out for that. I put out a new video every Monday. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And mm, have a good summer. Bye! <laughs>